morning, welcome to Thursday's More Tops Live. And we've got the second part of our bear hunt theme, haven't we? So we've got lots of things to show you and some of you have been sending in your pictures of your favourite bears and it's brilliant to show you that as well. And we've got quite a few, oops, we've got quite a few stories as well going on. So I've got a story to share with you. <laughs> Rowan's got a story to share with you and then also we're really fortunate to have um, Sarah who's recorded a story for us using Makaton. So you'll be able to do going on a bear hunt with Makaton and that's going to be on the YouTube yeah. channel. So we'll send you the link for that too. So loads of stuff going on. So it's brilliant to have you. So shall we do a bit of a stretch just to get ourselves warmed up? <laughs> stretch. That's it. So reach up high and touch your toes. Shall we try again? Is, is Bear going to do it as well? Bear's my friend. Reach up high. Or well, you can show them another one. Look, look. Bear's doing it. And down below. That's it. Shall we do wind the bobbing with our toys? Yeah. If you've got your favourite bear today, you might want to have a go at wind the bobbing. Wait, can you say um, the, the favourite kind of toy Here we go. Um, can you say who the favourite? Well, yeah, you can introduce them if you want. Who have you got with you? Right, I've got Bear. I made this. Where did I make, make this? I made uh, this at Build-A-Bears. Build-A-Bears. Whoops, careful with the book. You made it at Build-A-Bears, didn't you? And, and what did you call it? I called it Bear because at the bottom it's Build-A-Bear, so I called him Bear. Yeah, even though it's a giraffe, which is quite fun. And <laughs> this is um, this is Woof It. And I've had Woof It since I was very little, and you, this was used to be a TV program. Um, and this is Angela Woof It, and she's a puppet as well, and she's been everywhere, which is but great. And who have you got, Daisy? I got my my teddy bear. I made it when I was a little baby. You made it when you were a little baby. Okay, so shall we have a go at doing a song? So we'll do Why in the Bobbin with our toys. Are we ready? Good morning, everybody. I'm going to keep moving things. I'm ready, keep I'm ready. Here we go. I'm ready. Why in the Bobbin up? Why in the Bobbin up? Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap. Just move out of the way. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands up on your knee. Well done, everybody. And then teddy bear, do it. Teddy, teddy bear, teddy, teddy bear. bear. Should we do teddy bear, teddy bear? Good morning, Jane. Morning, Angela. Morning, Sarah. Did we do that last no, time? No, it's... We can do both. We can do both. We can do both. We did do it on Tuesday, but we can do it again. So if you come in front of the camera, then people can see you because at the moment, all you are is just a bit of a body and a voice. Okay, here we go. So you do Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Are we ready? Yeah. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear. Sorry, everybody, we started and then we stopped again. Right, let's start again. We're not stopping this time, guys. We're going to keep going. Here we go. Off we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. Wait, no, no, teddy bear, teddy bear, jump up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Touch the sky. Keep going, keep going. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. We've done that Teddy one. bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, um, go upstairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Oh, well done. Good night, Daisy. Oh, I think we went a bit fast for Daisy, but thank you very much. Okay, My so it's time to do our Twinkle Twinkles because we talked on Tuesday about often we have our bears when it's night time. So we're going to do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Daisy will be back in a few moments. Bear Here we is go. attacking your puppet. Oh dear, let's have a go. Ready? Let's have our stars ready. Stars. 
Nay, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That was it. They can half make a diamond. That's brilliant. Well mm. done. Okay, now we've got a few bears to show you now. We got quite a few extras in yesterday, which I haven't had a chance to add on here. So if you're not included in this, I do apologise, but you'll be on straight away. After this, we'll put up the bear pictures um, on our website. So here's a few for you. Here we go, look. Oh, look. Here we go. We've got a few of you with your bears. Oh, look at that one. That looks a nice one, doesn't it? And there's Pauline's bear. That's brilliant. Look at that one there. Wow. And that's Sammy's bear. I think that's Sue's bear there. Or oh, her, her little doll. There we go. That's brilliant. So we're going to be showing you a few more straight after this. Um, that we had in in the last couple of days. Really so thank you so much for um, for bringing those in, and we'll we'll share them round because we're thinking today about going on a bear hunt, and things that we hunt for, yeah. and things that we look after, and sometimes things that we look for also look for us. So we've got some stories for you today. Can I read it, my story. And um, Rowan's going to tell us a story about something that's lost. A little bit like when we're, we're hunting for a bear, we think it might be lost. Um, but actually, this is not about a bear, this one. This is about a lost coin. And Jesus told lots of stories about lost things and um, how we can find them again. So, Rowan, you need to look up there, though, so people can see. So this is a story of the lost coin. The story of the lost coin. Jesus told another story about a woman who lost a silver coin. The coin was very special, so she hunted for high and low. At last, the woman found her lost coin. Let's celebrate, she said to her friend. I found the lost coin, Jesus said. The angels are happy like this. When one person comes back to God. Brilliant. Okay, so there's, there's Jesus telling the story about if we're a bit lost and we feel lost, how happy God is when um, we come back to him because he's been looking for us. Now, it's time to do another story? song. It's time to do another song. Can close the book? You can close the book. You can, thank you very much for that. So we're going to do another song. And... Um, I'm lucky. <laughs> okay. And um, we did um, we did quite a few, didn't we? We did Round and Round the Garden on Tuesday. Do you remember that one that we did? So we're going to have a go at Round and Round the Garden like a teddy bear. That reminds <laughs> us of our bear that's maybe lost that we're hunting for. Here we go. Round and Round the Garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step. Tickle you under there. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's try again. Are mother. we ready? Are we ready? And stop the sort of... Okay, here we go. Or round and round the garden like a teddy bear. Or one step, two step, tickle you under there. Brilliant, well done. Now, if you know anything about going on a bear hunt, we're going to do some of the words for you now. We're not going to do the full story because Sarah's going to do it for you in a little bit. But if you remember going on a bear hunt, there's lots of actions to that as well. So we're just going to practice the chorus. Um, just together, just it's so we can get warmed up. swimming in the sea. And then you can watch that story in a little bit. So, we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Do you think uh, you could say doing that the together? Are you going to say that as well, Rowan? Are you going to join in? Muppet, Muppet's doing the action. I think, I don't know where Rowan's at today. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Muppet's, Muppet's doing, doing the action. Yeah. He is doing the action. Shall we have another go? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. And then if you remember in the story, they keep finding obstacles, things in their way 
to trying to find the bear. Big so there grass. was swishy grass, lots of swishy grass. Rowan, do you remember what there was in the story? Um, then there was squelchy mud. Squelchy mud, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. Um, stumble trip in a wood. Stumble trip in a wood, you're going through the woods. Stumble trip, stumble trip. What else? Um, then there's um, through the river, splish, splash, splash. That's it, splishy, splashy, splishy, splashy. And then there's in, in a dark cave, dark run away. Cave. Yeah, and also a snowstorm. <laughs> run away. So you might want to, when you've watched the story with Sarah, you might want to have a go at making your own bear hunt, maybe in the garden, or if you manage to go for a walk or something like that. You can see if you can take your bear through the, through the woods, through the swishy, swashy grass, and see if you can create one. Um, with your bear or with your special toy. Okay, I'm going to share with you a little story now and um, and then we're going to make some bear toast um, which if you haven't had your breakfast yet then um, hopefully you can enjoy that with us as well. And my story is called The Seesaw and this is also about a bear. We'll just have a look there. Can you see this is about a bear? And this reminded me that sometimes we're looking for things but actually the thing we're looking for is looking for us. Have you ever been lost in a shop? And we think yes. we're looking for our mums or, or, or someone else who we've gone I to shop with. I remember when I was um, looking for my mum and my mum was looking for me. That's right, all the time. And I think that's what the story in the Bible was about, that all the time the lady, um, she was looking for her coin. And, um, and it's almost like we're looking for God, but actually God is saying, actually, I'm looking for you. So here's this story. It's called The Seesaw. And see if you enjoy this. Can Muppet turn the page? Uh, well, I'm going to do it quite quick because I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm Muppet just going to do a little bit because then we need to make our... Then we need to make our bear toast. Mm. Okay, here we go. So, this is Sophia and Sophia has a bear as well. Sophia's bear was old, tatty and very well loved. It had belonged to Sophia's grandfather then, to her mother and from the day Sophia was born, the bear had kept her company too. He was less like a toy and more like a friend. That's a bit like our bears and toys, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Sophia and her bear enjoyed picnics in the park, long walks through the woods, and one day they even went to the seaside. Muppet. It was a long journey, but it was worth it. The beach was amazing. Sophia even took off her bear's scarf so they could splash in the waves. Her father bought fish and chips and they all had ice cream. It really was the perfect day until the storm clouds rolled in. Oh, yeah. And they were running through the rain and nobody noticed that Sophia's bear tumbled out of her bag. After the storm oh, can, can move that way. After the storm blew over, the bear sat alone on the wide empty beach and nobody saw the bear but the sea. After a while, a seagull flew down and pecked curiously at the bear. The sea saw this and did not like it one little bit. The sea knew how sad the girl would be to have lost her bear, and so it decided to help. It took hold of the battered bear and whispered, I will take you home. Of course, when Sophia realised that her bear was missing, she was terribly upset. She looked everywhere. She just couldn't find it. She even went back to the beach. She had other bears, but there wasn't a bear like her bear. She snipped, oh, she, then she found the bear's small scarf in her bedroom. She snipped a piece off and kept it in a necklace around her neck so she would always remember her bear. Now, it's incredibly difficult to return something when you have no idea where the owner is or where they live. But even so, the sea tried its best. It washed the bear along through the water, helped by shoals of shimmering fish, a whale, a dolphin, and even an octopus. It's the swimming. bear hitched a lift on a boat. Oh, okay, just move out the way. Oh, are you acting? Is it, are you acting? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. Bear hitched a lift on the boat, and he was carried along by a seal. The sea always found a way to guide the bear through the water. But it was not an easy journey. Okay, just move to the side just a little bit, that's it. When the wind grew cross, whipping the waves into towering waves, the sea carried the bear safely. And the waves grew cold, the sea would wash the bear onto dry land. The sea was worried. This journey was taking so long. 
it carried him through oceans, into lakes, into rivers. There's the bear, look, carrying on its journey. A young girl saw the bear floating in the shallow waters and she went to investigate. Curious, she picked it up and called out to her grandmother to tell her all about what she had found. Slowly, the old lady walked out of the house. Then she stopped, she stared for a moment, and then she rushed forward to scoop up the bear. Can you see her? Sophia hugged her bear closely because this was Sophia as she'd grown old. For the first time in many, many years, she found her bear. You see, nothing is ever truly lost if you keep it. In your heart. Wait, so the bear had been lost for all those years? All that time and it found its way back eventually because she always had it. Because, in her wait, Sophie's an old lady at the end of the story. Yeah, that's how long it had taken the bear, but the bear just kept going. And that's a bit like God, isn't it? God keeps going to include us. Wait, so um, is that. Find us. So is the little girl, um, Sophie's something. Yeah, well, that would be Sophie's granddaughter, wouldn't it? So a lot's happened in that time. So I shall um, post up um, that book, and you might enjoy that book later. Okay, I'm getting hungry now. I don't know about you. Shall we get some food? Can I have seconds in breakfast? So we're going to make some teddy bear toast. So come join us over here, and we will have a go at making something. Now I need to prop up just a bit I always forget propping up part okay Daisy's back Ooh, as well toast. there we go oops there we go okay right come around this way oh right so what we're going to do is we're going to make some teddy bear toast to remind us of our bear hunting and hunting and lost things today so, teddy bear. yeah so what you need wait a minute wait a minute what you need is a piece of bread like this, okay? So we're gonna do it with bread, but if you've got time, you can toast yours, that's absolutely fine, okay? Then you need some, what have we got there, Daisy? Raisins. Some raisins, okay. And then you need some kind of brown stuff to put on it. So we've got a few brown things here that might go on ours. And then we each need a knife. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, not, not quite lovely. Like, put those on there. Live, live TV. Right, then you need a knife each, like this. And we are going to choose one of these to put on our bread or our toast. Okay, so you need to kind of... And then can we cut it? I would like to spread my Nutella in the shape of a teddy bear. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you need to do is just spread on first. So spread on. Here we go. Spread, spread, spread. So I'm going to do some spreading. Spread, spread. So spread yours across the bread. That's it. So it's all covered, which is brilliant. Have you not got a knife? Oh, there's a knife there. Oh, you've got one. That's all good. Brilliant. Okay. And then what we need is having a bit of candy. And then you're going to need a banana like this. Here we go. Mm. So banana, banana, and we're going to chop it into pieces. Okay. As you can hear me chopping, no. can't you? And then what you need is you need yeah. a piece of banana to go in the middle like this. I'm going to put it on in the middle like that, and then you need two eyes. Like this. Next spin. There we go. Like that, look, look, it's coming on. And then you need your raisins. I'll show you this. I'll do this quick. I hope this looks like a bear. <laughs> okay, and a mouth. Oh. oh. Now, these guys are still continuing theirs. Oh, mine looks a bit more like a pig. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. There we go. Oh, toasted bagels. Jane, that looks sounds amazing. Look at this. Oh, it's not liking me turning this round. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it this way. Ready? There we go. Look, kind of a bear pig. Um, these guys are enjoying themselves. You need the banana. I don't want the banana. Okay. So there you go. So have a go at making your own bear toast, bear bread. 
see what pattern you can get and remember the story when you're feeling lost um, then remember um, God oh, is I? looking <laughs> for you and um, oh. he's with you so um, shall we wave and say this is the way we wave bye bye and straight after this you can see our pictures of people's bears and you can also have a go at doing the whole of the bear hunt story with Sarah and the Makaton. Can I start eating? Okay, so here we go. You can start eating and we're going to start singing. Here we go. Thanks mm. so much for joining us. Look forward to seeing you next. Well, if you join us on Sunday, that'd be amazing. And then on Tuesday, we're doing a lesson in mm. being thankful. So all sorts of things about thankfulness. Mm. So here we go. This is the way we wave bye-bye on a Thursday morning. Oh, careful of the knife in my mouth. Mm. Okay, this is the way we wave bye-bye. Wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye. This is the way we wave bye-bye on a Thursday morning. Bye-bye, everyone.